Hey friends, welcome back. Smore here bringing you some more Seven Days to Die. This is the uh, Horde survival mode. And in this episode, we're going to take care of this car over here and continue to build on the defenses for tonight's Horde, which will be in this episode. This will be a long one, so grab yourself something delicious to drink. Join me. Let's get going. Ah, all right, friends. So we are... Oh, that is not nearly enough. Let's grab... Oh my gosh, push all the buttons. Let's grab some more wood, and we're kind of low on the monies. What is that? Oh, that's not that bad at all. Okay, let's just do another 500. And let's queue up a bunch more spikes. Alright, let's also look at the build cache, because I want to see if we have... Oh, we do have bricks. Let's do 50, and that's pretty much what we have to work with. Do we have spikages? No, I didn't even pull them out. Okay. So this is good, guys. So at this point, I am just concerned about having enough... Come on. About having enough ammo. Um, I guess I can... See. Yeah, we can... Boom. There we go. Yeah, so that is what I'm concerned about now, guys. Um, I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. Know what I mean? All right, yeah, so we don't have a wrench, so this is just going to have to work for now. And whenever I play this mod, I do feel that panicky feeling. Probably need to not, but it's kind of hard not to. So I expect that these will get broken out, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go as high as these will let us, and then after that it's going to be all about them spikages. And then after that, I'm not real sure, guys. I won't take these out, I don't want these here anymore. Now I know that those... Um, The wooden frames above are very, very weak, and we obviously discovered that the hard way uh, in the last episode. Now, I don't want to throw iron bars down yet. Okay, so that was more than I thought it was going to be. Okay. But eventually they're going to break out these blocks, and then they're going to stand on top of these blocks, and then they're going to hit the wooden frames there so we're gonna have to figure something out let's snag some more real quick and then did i get this guy just out of curiosity no maybe we have uh, some wellness raising Oof, definitely take that and then i don't know if there'll be anything in here but let's take a look oh no it's empty okay lots of game nearby um if we have time we will try and set before jump Oof, I didn't think I was going to make that. <laughs> How's this looking? 22? We'll take them. Inventory is getting rather full. Now, we did have... Did we have... We did have some more brick. Okay. Is it like... Can I do that? No. But I can do... Maybe... This. Maybe... This. I'll take 10 more, and then we'll have to see what it is to make the bricks, because to be honest, I can't even remember. Instead of the... Oh, let's see. Instead of the wood frames, I do have another idea. Uh, and then, of course, the eventual goal is to get the wooden frame areas upgraded up to... Yeah, that'll have to work for now. Upgraded up to... Um, the iron rebar frames. Sorry guys, I'm having a little bit of trouble concentrating just with everything that's going on. It would be nice to get the brick finished, get the spikes laid, and get a forge going. And those are my goals. Um, we have lighting secured. I do have a plan for the sand, so I'm not too worried about that. We don't have exploding crossbow bolts, unfortunately. 
but at least if anything hits us on these two sides, we should be relatively ready. That's about the smoothest I've ever placed those. That's nice. Now, the sacrificial spikes are not something we've used before. So it'll be interesting to see how much they help. Okay, so it looks like that's all the spikes we're going to get. That's too bad. It's probably not nearly enough. Not really. Though this modified SMG with these rounds are going to be great. Okay, I got that from the previous bag. Wow, a lot of really good stuff here. So maybe I have more ammo than I realized. Um, what does it take to make brick? That's what I need to look at next. Stone and clay. Pretty cheap. Okay. So I definitely should have just purchased those materials and then made them in the bench. So that's a good lesson learned and hopefully a good lesson for all of you guys. Don't make the same mistake I did. Um, we are going to start cleaning up. Let's see what else. That goes there. That can go there. Uh, we don't want to commit to the iron bars yet just because they are so expensive. We'll plop down the rest of those spikes. And then in the meantime, we're going to need to... Let's see, guys. What are we going to need to do? We're going to need to... probably get some of this going right here so let's start all right and that is this face over here oh <laughs> okay there we go um that's Space Engineer. So that reminds me of something else, guys. So I have been playing the bejesus out of Space Engineers. I have been just enraptured by that game. And I think I'm going to start bringing some of that content to the channel as well. Let's head over here. So if you guys haven't seen Space Engineers before, um, you're going to see some now. Flagstone pole. Let's just do 36. That looks about right. Let's kick that down there. Let's copy rotation. Let's keep working. And hopefully we don't fall off the edge. And we have to make sure to top off too before the horde. So hopefully this will help with them spider zombies. Come on, rotate the right way. Subnautica is doing great. If you guys haven't caught that yet, I would highly recommend it. We just had a huge plot twist. M. Night Shalamalamalam. S. Plot twist. So... And I am really enjoying that one as well. All right, then we will get all this upgraded. So guys, I will uh, bring you back once I'm all done here. Well, it didn't take very long, but unfortunately we also did not get very far. We just need a whole bunch more raw resources, to be honest. So what we're going to do here, do I still have that knife on, on us? Um, let's make sure we have that. We're going to hunt, and we're going to grab some skins for the forge, and then we're going to do, I guess, some resource harvesting, because we have the time to. Let's make sure, though, that we use this knife. There we go. I'm also actually kind of hoping that we get... Uh, some levels. I think that would be good. Ooh. 
Really? Is the range that bad? Let's try this guy. That pig is tough. What are we at? Okay. Oh, that's probably why we're using nine mils. And we'll burn through those and then we'll use something better. Three hide. Hmm, not as much as I was hoping to get, but okay. Let's see, now there are more animals. Let's just real quickly scan the horizon. Maybe we will not be making a forge. I could have sworn we had more in the area. That'll teach me I should have just killed them when we had the chance. All right, well, we don't have the ax, but we do have the hammer, and it takes out trees well enough, I guess, so we will do a little bit of that, and like I said, hopefully we just kind of level up. That would be nice. We'll take a tree down, make some more spikes. We'll also get the clay and the stone going for bricks. Alright. Also, I've been keeping my eyes open for a campsite, but I don't think I've seen one yet. Would have been nice to have gotten a cookbook. So guys, this is not going to be very interesting, so I will bring you back when we've made a little bit of progress. Alright guys, so I basically didn't really accomplish anything. Um, the upgrades went slow. Uh, well, the upgraded anti-spider zombie didn't really happen because we didn't have enough cobble. I didn't see any more game, and for the life of me, I could not find any clay. All this right here, all these dark spots, not clay in this mod. Ah, so what we're going to do is continue cooking this meat, continue drinking this yuck, this yuck juice, and then we'll get our hot bar, sort, hot bar sorted out. Oh my god, I'm a hot mess right now. And then we will take the horde. I think we are about as prepared as we could be. Lessons learned. What did I learn, guys? Um, I think a trench is going to be good. I have come up with a few other much larger designs that can be implemented relatively cheaply. Let's get the crappier ammo out of the way first. All right. There is one very large lady. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what this is like. Okay, we can work with that, guys. I think one of the things that the SMG does good because of its rate of fire is it allows you to get those extra points in, or the extra uh, damage in. Alright, there we go. We'll definitely take that. Plus, we need those dukes, you know what I mean? So, you, yeah, you get that stun damage, I think is what I was trying to say earlier. Yeah, that's dirt. That's not clay, guys. Same thing with that over there. Ah, so I'm hoping that we walk away with just a ton of dukes from tonight. I'm also hoping that we walk away alive, but that's just me. Um... Let's do that. Let's chamber this and these and that. And then this is chambered and that. And then we can repair. Let's snag the last little bits of food. I have no idea if this will be enough for the night, food wise. We'll find out. We'll top this off, guys, and after that, we'll be ready. Oof, nervous, guys. Uh, all right, there's all this. We'll burn through these, and we'll start tossing things down.
All right, friends, so I did have to step away, unfortunately, which means that the counter for how um, how aggressive the horde is going to be has been reduced. So uh, hopefully we will, you know, I guess we will, uh, we will see how we do. Um, it's the next day in the middle of the episode for me, IRL. Uh, the channel has been demonetized, so I'm free to say things like fuck and shit and head and ass and hole and wank and all sorts of stuff now. Not upset at all about it at all. Nope. So friends, I'm just gonna entertain you with my wit, charm, and impeccable grammar and good looks for a little bit. Uh, let's see. So let's talk about some... Base defenses, since that's kind of the name of the game, right? So I'd like to eventually get a whole other wall all the way up to the top of the brick. And then do a moat all the way around. Breaking through the asphalt is going to be unpleasant. Uh, we will stone or reinforce the base side of the wall of the moat. And probably fill it with spikes. Pretty, uh... Pretty straightforward. I do have yet another base build in mind that is much more unconventional when this one inevitably fails. I've only gotten today, I think, five or six, and that was, you know, on the previous version of Horde Mode. Let me tell you, folks, I have a lot of recording to do tonight. I gotta finish this one up. I need some Subnautica, and then I'm also working on a Space Engineer's content. Here we go, guys. So spooky. How bad is that going to blow my spikes up? Not that bad. I'll take it. I hear. Okay. Uh, let's see, I put the light on this guy, so let's make sure I have that up. Okay, there we go. Now we got some folks running at us. Uh, we'll just take care of this guy real quick. Oh, it is a crawling lady. The, um, boy... So guys, I apologize for gimping the horde like this. Uh, that it was not intentional. Um, the smorlets last night were not really sick. I don't think. I think they're teething really bad, right? And so their poor noses are all stuffy, and they didn't sleep worth a damn. And it just wasn't good. That's what I'm talking about right there. I'm really liking the larger magazine on this thing. Yeah, it goes to eight. And then Joel actually just put out a video detailing some of the combat updates that they're working on. He also mentioned DLC. And, and that, uh, that kind of gets my, my blood boiling, if you will. Oh, that was awesome. Yes. Ah, as far as I'm concerned... Joe and company, you don't even need to worry about DLC until you get your core game figured out. Because if you pull some shit like what Ark pulled, I'm going to be pissed. SMG is so powerful. Let's try the Deagle, guys. No, nope, not the Nif. Okay. Uh, I know this one doesn't have a flashlight either, and I don't have anything to put on it. And we're using the low-grade 357 with the Deagle. The crosshair doesn't seem quite as tight as the military pistol. I wonder if there's a military Deagle. Hair, can you give me an answer on that in the comment section below? All right, I saw you pop in. Mm -hmm. 
JK. Deagle time. Oh, it's dark. I forgot. <laughs> Freaking myself out here. Oh. S'more liked that. Though I guess to say it like that is a little creepy. Well, guys, I think we're going to continue to use rifles. Um, specking into the into rifles for the SMG, I think, is going to be a good idea. Uh, so let's do that right now. JK, don't have enough. That's all right. That is one of the downsides of not having these big hordes roll through, right? I can't even get it yet. Um, yeah, oh, I guess we'll just hold on to those points then. Never mind. All right, bud. Maybe I should let them crawl closer just in case they drop some sweet loot. Who was that? God, the, the reticule on this SMG is just so tight. I like it. Well, this, guys, this I can handle. Again, and I, I know it's not designed to be this way. So I thought we'd have more spikes taken out. To be honest. And that's why I was comfortable putting them down right up against the wall. Boom. Start racking those kills up. I'm going to scoot this back. Oh, here we go. Hmm, I still took damage from that. Um, more or less just trying to free a slot up. Alright, looking good guys, looking good. So I think this is going to be a lot of this. Um, and I know this isn't like... I know it's not like terribly entertaining, I totally get it. Um, but I mean, feel free to stick around. Oh my gosh. There we go. You can get those consecutive headshots like that. It's just so powerful. There we go, racking up them coins now. Did someone expire over here? Yeah, it's alright. I saw you, spiker guy, just popping right up like we wouldn't see you way out there. I wonder how much money I spent just dropping that biker guy. He's not really even dead yet. Let's mix it up. Right in the knee. Not that that's overplayed at all, right? Oh, I guess another one in the knee. go. So my next base design is going to be uh, like a filtering system, so to speak. It's going to be all about breaking the horde up into manageable chunks. What? Enjoy the pipe bomb, ma'am. That was not cool. Okay, making sure she's dead. And you died on the spikes. Okay. Right. There we go. Awesome. Okay, and our rifles are going up, and we're making monies, and we're 
hopefully not doing too bad on the ammos. I've had a couple of you guys comment and say, hey, the sniper rifle not so great for horde mode, and I uh, am certainly willing to give it a shot, but just do know that I am taking your guys' comments into consideration. I mean, that's kind of how I've learned as much as I have, right? Experience, then you guys help me out in the comment section below, which is always appreciated, by the way. Okay, that was... Man, I wish I shot more like that more often. <laughs> Hey guys, we have um, new stuff. Um, Hair, could we get like a chime at midnight so it's more of a, hey, you have new stuff. Go pay attention to the new stuff that you just have. Oh, nail gun. It's too bad that we're very poor. Oh, there are 12,000. That's not too bad. Um, okay, just looking around. Okay, what does Special Stash have for us? Steel Shovel, very nice. I don't know that I really need it, especially for that much money. Um, a Modified Pistol. Regular SMG. Here's the Military Pistol that's worked so well for us in the past. Uh, excuse me. We're going over stuff. Yeah, so what I think what the SMG does really well is that first bullet puts him into a stunned. Right, everything after that is dealing triple damage, and it's not like it deals a small amount of damage to begin with. Right, and we really want those kills because I don't think the trap kills actually give us credit. So guys, I didn't see anything outrageously good in the gear section. Those guys are so powerful. That was the um, the soldier. That's why I was fine just drilling so many holes into him. Nine thousand gold pieces, nine thousand tokens later. All right, let's uh, let's get this repaired. I do need some better tooling, that's for sure. Uh, maybe we can find the workbench, or I'm sorry, not the workbench, but a forge and a cement mixer, most of all, right? Make sure. I like all these levels we're getting, that's for damn sure. Let's get that stun damage. Boom, 13 of 25. Not seen any. Oh, there's a duffel right there. Okay. It'll hang around for a little bit, I think. Trying to be a little bit... Oh, the brown shorts. Trying to be a little bit braver. I know that the... Bravery does make for a much more entertaining video. Totally get that. All right, there we go. Show us that head. Oh, don't just. Must have got lucky. Normally it takes, it seems like it takes a lot more shots than that. So yeah, guys, like I was saying, I got a ton of stuff to record tonight. Oh, savage. Awesome. Hey, there's 20. And we have more than enough points now for... Hey, stop it. I am... 
busy dominating. So guys, are the um, the barbed wire fences, not the barbed wire sections itself, but like the barbed wire fences, are those uh, much better than the spikes? Please let me know in the comment section below. I mean, do they are they a lot more durable? Things like that. Because these are the things that I have to start thinking about now. Because we can do this all day. We can do this with a lot more zombies all day. It's those puking cops that are going to cause problems, of course, right? Yes, break all those spikes. It makes it so I don't have to later. What else will you shoot? Those? Okay. Oh, we still have the higher quality tier two. Come on right up the ramp, bud. And we'll shoot these just to... All right, yeah, we'll just clear this uh, particular bit of ammo out. We'll reload into the slightly higher quality stuff. There we go. Here, I wonder if you have messed with the skill up sli like uh, sliders. Like, uh, and by by that I mean. Uh, in your mod, do we level up our skills faster? Because it seems like I'm leveling up um, rifles like a racehorse. I don't know if I actually am, but that's just how it seems. Here's our chem station. We can afford it. That's awesome. Auto turret and a spotlight, huh? No. Well, there's a short iron pipe. And then some concrete mix. Oh, it's cheap. Yes. Yes. Okay, how about the cobblestone? I can make it, but it's nice to not, you know, if I don't have to. Okay. The nail gun looked nice, but I mean, we're already upgrading so quickly. I don't even know if it's worth it. Right? I mean, we would spend all that money, and I guess we would save a little bit of time, but... You know what would be better is an auger, but I don't actually... I'm not upset that I passed on that auger uh, on day one. Um, wasn't a very high quality. And so if we had an auger that was high green or blue or higher, um and it was 20k, we'd absolutely snap that up in a heartbeat, provided we could also find enough fuel for it too, right? I don't even know if fuel is in the beacon. Let's take a look, guys. Here. Let's go down. This is fine. Sell some stuff while we're down here. Alright. Yeah, that is... Way too much. I wonder if these are any good. If you got just a bitchin' good military pump shotgun, um, because it takes the 20 gauge. I wonder if that's worth a damn. I know we are hungry. We'll purchase this just to kind of take the edge off. So I know that the other nights aren't going to be this easy, right? And I think what I'll probably try and do is log off. There we go. Oh, boom. Is try and log off at like one or two. And what that's going to do is break the episode up nicely. And to be honest, guys, it's also going to make the hordes just a little bit more doable. Um, and you, you feel free to... Throw in the comment section. S'more, that's not how the mod's meant to be played. S'more, man up. 
I don't like that term, man up and take the horde like how it's supposed to, but it's just not fun when you're getting stomped into the ground over and over again. And I get that maybe then that means that this mod isn't for me, but like, I really like it. This is a mode that I wish was in vanilla, and it was at one point. Plus, it's the only mod I know of where the where the SMG is worth a damn. You guys can give me a hard time about that in the comment section below. I appreciate that he's helping remove the spikes. It's very considerate of him. Alright. Well, that was probably the cheapest kill. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> 21960, all right. Hmm. Did I get credit for that kill? I hope so. All right. Um, I guess I need to find a little bit more of a permanent solution for food here real quick. Um, fullness 10. And then forgive me guys, just because we're in the middle of Horde, we're just gonna bake those real quick. Man, I have no idea how long this episode's even gonna turn out to be. So, I think I was saying earlier that we're going to also put some space engineers up on the channel. And I think I'm going to do more of like a build series. Um, you know, where the title has the build that, oh shit, that we were working on. And I'm sure that all the things that I would like to build, there's probably already something. See, I didn't get credit for that kill. It looks like the finishing blow has to is what gets you credit. Um, and I'm sure that there are already models up in the Space Engineer Steam Workshop for all the things I'd like to build, but oftentimes, actually, I just don't really like how they turned out when someone else has done them. And so it's uh, it's kind of nice to take a turn on them. I don't even know if that guy's dead or not. At least you guys will be able to see a little bit better. Nope, not yet. Uh, now he's down. Down. Done. Down, done. Some combination of words therein. When was the last time I got to just, like, focus and just chit-chat with you guys? See, I didn't get credit for that one. Too slow on the trigger. Very interesting. So, expending those few extra rounds to make sure that we get credit is not such a bad idea. There we go. Yeah, when was the last time I just got to just run in a square pattern and talk with you guys? It's been, I feel like it's been a while. Also, with the channel being demonetized, would it make sense if I said it feels different, but it also... Oh, that's terrible. Shoot, but it also doesn't. Hard to explain. Because, like, when a video would get demonetized, it's I'm not upset that I'm losing out on, like, 30 cents of revenue. Like, that's not it. It is um, demoralizing, I guess, is the best way I could explain it. I 
I just tried to W that meat. All right, we'll eat up. Let the hordes kind of wash over us. You know, guys, this game has a live stream multiplayer that goes on for like three or four hours would be awesome. Um, maybe, guys, maybe that's what we'll do when the channel gets to a thousand subs. One day. Boom, bending here. All right. Uh, let's see. Not quite sure what else to pick up. Oh, that's nice. Okay, awesome. Well, guys, I think we're going to call this episode here. I do want to see if getting the Vendineer perks impacts anything immediately. Um, I expect it to impact price. That nail gun. Yeah, so that nail gun dropped three grand. That's nice. Oh. Oh. Oh my, I believe is the word I'm looking for. Yes, please. And I'm glad that you guys get to be here to see this. Did it, w I maybe the holy shit snacks. Look at this. Thirty-seven point zero five, sixty-four nine five. I wonder why that's so different. Hair, why is this so different? I'm looking at the entity damage here, bud. So, I'm sure you'll let me know. Maybe it also factors in the ammunition here. Uh, I can't purchase it or else I would, and then we'd have spare parts, right? That'd be great. Well, all right, friends, we'll call the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. And in the next episode, I want to get more of the base set up, more of the basics set up. And I want to get this second wall finished and hopefully a ditch dug if we can swing it. Where? All right, guys. Well, we survived our first horde. It wasn't much. I explained why it wasn't much. If you did make it all the way through the episode, let's see. Special word's going to be um, boner farts because I just think that's hilarious so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next episode